I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use twin needles. Twin needles are awesome because you can sew with two threads in two needles and you just need one bobbin thread. A twin needle is great for stitching hems and seams because it gives you a top stitch and an edge stitch at the same time. So you are saving time because it's doing two stitches at one time. It's kind of like magic. So follow along and I'm gonna show you how to set up your machine for a twin needle. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and following me on my sewing adventures. And if you don't know, I'm now teaching sewing classes in person in my studio in Chicago, Illinois, or virtually. So make sure you sign up at SewingAnastasia.com. To set your machine up for the twin needle, you're only gonna need a few supplies. You're going to need two spools of thread, and you're going to need your twin needle. Twin needles come in different widths, so go ahead and choose any width that you'd like. The twin needle is gonna look something like this in the package, so let's take it out and take a look. Woo, cracked right open, okay. How about that? Okay, so we're gonna have one position at the top of the needle, and this is where the needle's gonna go into the machine, and then we get two needles with the eyes in them. First thing we need to do is put on our double needle. So unscrew your needle screw and take out your single needle and then go ahead and place the double needle in that same hole and just make sure it's screwed nice and tight but make sure you don't do it too tight. Now we want to put both of our threads on the machine and we are actually gonna thread this like we normally do. We're just gonna end up having to do it twice. So we are going to thread the machine like normal. Now right here I have a spot on my tension disc where I can go to the right or to the left. One of my threads is gonna go on the right and one of them is gonna go on the left. First I'm doing the left and then I'm gonna come down, back up, around my hook, down. And now we're gonna go above the needle and through the needle. And since I did the left first, I'm gonna go ahead and do the left eye hole of the needle. and put your thread under the foot. Now we're gonna use the second spool to thread and we're gonna do the exact same threading method. But when we get to the first tension disc, we're gonna go on the right hand side now and then we're just gonna follow it in the same grooves as the first one. We went above the needle and now we're gonna go through the needle on the right, front to back. And we're also gonna take this thread and put it under the foot. Now that we have the needle on and the machine all threaded, let's give it a test run and see how it turns out. Now we're ready to start sewing and you just do everything normal. So you can back stitch in the beginning like you normally would. And continue. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. The stitches are even and they look beautiful. This is so great because you don't have to do an edge stitch and a top stitch. You can do them both at the same time. Or this is a great alternative if you don't have a cover stitch machine because you're getting those two stitches on the top and then you're getting the cover on the back. So if you don't have a cover stitch machine, make sure you try a twin needle. The front is going to look like this with the two stitches. When we turn it over, your back is going to look like this. The back is beautiful and interesting as well. The stitch is so close to being the cover stitch. Thanks so much for watching Soy Anastasia with how to use the twin needle. It is going to be so awesome for all your projects coming up. If you have any questions, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and give it some applause. And if you're not already a follower, make sure you follow and hit that subscribe button so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, thank you so much for subscribing. It means everything to me that you follow me on my sewing journeys. 
And make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And make sure you share your projects with me. I would love to see your projects. So be sure to tag me at Sewing Anastasia so I can repost them. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.